Good morning, afternoon, evening, as the case may be in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer, and this is a story of Ending Brady. No, it's not. It's a story of me waking up this morning scared to death. Scared to death. Now, many of you know that Mom's in the hospital and stuff, but it had nothing to do with that. Um, I woke up, and I was, I was just in a cold sweat. Something woke me up. And it took me a little while to get oriented. And then I realized that what it was, is I had the television on, and it was a wedding. Weddings always do that to me. I always scare the crap out of me. I, I cry at weddings. And the reason that I cry at weddings is because they scare the crap out of me. I think, oh, that poor, those poor, those poor people. Anyway, it was the wedding of the, with the royal family, of course, with William and Catherine. We're getting married, and it was on my TV. And I thought, that's really cool. Well, then I remembered something else. YouTube is now rolling out something new called YouTube Live. And it just so happens that the royal family has their own YouTube channel. The royal channel is their YouTube channel. And they are one of the people who have been able to take advantage of YouTube Live. And so the entire wedding of Prince William and Catherine getting married was on YouTube Live. So I clicked on over to that. I thought, well, you know, I don't really like weddings. Yes, they scare me and they give me the cold sweats. But this is a monumental event. And, and how many monarchies are there and princes and all of that stuff? I thought, I'll watch it. Now, you know, I'll, I'll watch and see who attended. You know, who, who's there that I know? I saw Elton John was there. He could have run a comb through his wig, but he was there. And that was nice, nice little suit and stuff. Um, and that was really nice. So uh, Elton John was there, and there were some other people there, and and I sat and, and decided, well, okay, I'm going to completely embrace this. I'm going to go to the go to the channel, the YouTube Live channel. I hope that that uh, the Zen Archer channel gets in there, and we can do the Zen Live Radio Show uh, there. But I'll come back to that in a minute. Anyway, I was all ready, you know, and they were saying their vows, and people were singing, and they were doing long shots of the cathedral and then zooming in the cathedral and people singing. It. it was wonderful. Even though I wasn't really into it, it was wonderful. And the page had the latest video that was put up and, and comments and it, 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 uh, maps and, and anything you could want to know. It was very, very nice. And, and that was provided uh, on, on YouTube. It was actually the same coverage, though, that, that was on television. And it was interesting to see the lag between the two. Because television was actually, uh, I think, a little bit quicker than the YouTube was, but but they were pretty close. So it was the first. It was the first thing that I watched on on YouTube. First full thing that I intended to watch on YouTube Live. And uh, YouTube Live is just like if you've been at Stickham or Blog TV. Um, it's people doing shows. Um, the shows are a little classier. What I've seen so far seem to be a little bit classier. But um, <clears throat> they're slowly rolling it out to partners, and um, basically they've said, please be patient. Um, I'm trying to be patient, but man, I would love to get the Zen Live show and, and Balancing Act and the YouTube channel all just right here on YouTube and, and just have it here. You know, and I, I think we've got a good chance of that happening. When we were at Stick Ham, we were in the top five, uh, five shows every Sunday. And, you know, we hit a lot of people, and let's face it, I'm okay on, on the mic, uh, or I'm okay on video, but I'm much better on mic when I'm doing the Zen Live show. And uh, we always rate it high. So I'm hoping that we can get the Zen Live radio show here and schedule it, and you guys that are, like, subscribers and everything else can come in and, and visit and have fun, and we can party and stuff. So I'm hoping for that. But let me tell you what happened. We the, the wedding got interrupted. The wedding got interrupted. Remember, Mom? I knew you would. Well, they called me from the hospital at, I think it was about 10 till 7, to tell me that they were prepping her for her surgery at 7.30. <laughs> so I had to get up and get dressed, get everything on, go get in the car and run over to the hospital. I got there about 7.40 by the time everything was was done. I had to get gas and stuff to go. And uh, they had already moved her down to uh, surgery. 
Yeah, they sent me to the wrong place, and so then I went down to the wrong place, and I went back up. But eventually I got there, and it was a good thing that I did, because Mom had informed everybody in the surgery that they weren't doing a damn thing until I was there and said it was okay. So it was a good thing that I was there and said it was okay. And I also kind of played mediator between her and the nurses and doctors, because as you know by now, Mom is not a good patient, ever. You know, if you get if you get her to do something that you want, it's only because she's convinced that she wants it, or you got really lucky. So everything went pretty smooth. They took her in. They did the surgery. It was a minor surgery. She has a uh, uh, had a blood clot in her right lung that they believe trailed from the legs, and they put a filter in. They they took a needle and they uh, a needle like a long like a long tube almost and but they put the needle in they fed the uh, filter up to where it needed to be and they popped it out of the needle and then they pulled the thing back on they put a cotton swab on it with a couple of sli- pieces of tape bada boom bada bing all done 20 minutes I think it was was 30 minutes was all the operation took um, and then they put her in recovery she's supposed to be there for approximately an hour um, she was actually there for about two and a half hours before she got back to the room and then when she got back to the room, she was complaining that she had not eaten anything. She had forgotten about you have to fast before surgery. Uh, so we asked them if we could get her a plate, and they brought a plate to her. It was about, I don't know what time it was, but anyway, they brought her a plate to her, and, and I fed her, and, and she was in pretty good spirits uh, overall. A little grumpy, but, you know, when you don't feel well, you are a little grumpy, so I don't blame her for that. And then uh, finally... I don't know, 4 o'clock or so, I finally got out of there and came home. And now I'm just kind of sitting and relaxing, letting it all sink in. Um, And the doctor called me, and the nurses called me, and the social workers called me, all of them telling me that they're probably going to be releasing mom tomorrow, and she'll be headed back home to the nursing home that she's living in now. And uh, I think that'll be a really good thing. Maybe she'll get settled in and settled down again um, and then we'll just go from there so these are just you know these are little bumps and stuff that are on top of the all the the bumps and stuff that we already have but uh, everything is going pretty good so far as far as the machinery goes who does what and all logistics that's all taken care of that's working that's working very well um, Basically, the fly in the ointment is uh, is mom and her her attitude, and if she wants to take her medicine or not. And there's no power of attorney or anything, and so she has the right to refuse anything. So that's when they call me. I'm the get it done guy, and I go and say, Mom, what you're doing is you have like a broken leg, and you're saying, Nah, just leave it broke. We need to get it fixed. So let's let's get it fixed. Usually I can talk some reason to her, and she'll come around eventually. And then once she does agree, I'm like, okay, do it really quick before she changes her mind. But uh, Mom's always been like that, so that's not anything new. So I'm happy to report Mom will be back in, in, in the nursing home pretty soon, back with people that are her own age, and back into the regular settling in that happens when, you, uh, when you're put in that position. So I hope you'll stay tuned, keep uh, following along, I'll keep you updated, and uh, of course, as always, subscribe and like and favorite and Zen's cool, and uh, I'll put some links down here for Zen, uh, for uh, YouTube Live and the Royal Channel, and I don't know, whatever else I can find, I'll, I'll throw in there too. So until next time, you be well, this is Zen.